In this video, we're going to talk about inverse matrices and how to find them. So, an inverse matrix is introduced through the following equality. A matrix multiplied by the corresponding inverse matrix equals an identity matrix. Now, what's an identity matrix? An identity matrix is a square matrix of the following form. As you can see, it has one lying along its main diagonal, and the rest of the entries are zeros. And it has this curious property that if you multiply any matrix by the identity matrix, you'll still obtain the same old matrix with no changes. Just as if you'd multiply any number by one, because one is basically the most simple identity matrix. So once again, an inverse matrix is a matrix which multiplied by the initial one gives you an identity matrix of the same size. An important thing to remember is that inverse matrices only exist for the square matrices. So let's consider the square matrix of the size n by n. It has n rows and n columns. A sub 1, 2, da da da. A sub 1, n. A sub 2, 1. A sub 2, 2. A sub 2, n. A sub i, j. A sub n, 1. A sub n, 2. A sub n, n. As you can remember, the first number in the index of the elements stands for the number of the row, and the second number stands for the number of the column. Then there is a so-called educate matrix, all denoted as C. And it is composed of the so-called algebraic cofactors, which are found by the following formula. Capital A sub IJ equals negative 1 taken to the power of I plus J multiplied by the minor sub IJ, where I is the number of the row, j is the number of the column, and minor mj is the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained from the initial one by removing the ith row and the jth column. So it is a minor to this a sub ij element. Pay attention at how this educate matrix is built. So we have capital A sub 1, 1, capital A sub 1, 2, and so on up to capital A sub n, n, along the main diagonal. But then if you want to calculate, say, the element number 2, 1, A sub 2, 1, According to the formula, we'd go negative 1 taken to the power of 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2, 1, which is a determinant of the matrix which is obtained from the initial one by crossing out the second row and the first column. So it is a minor to this a sub 2, 1 element. But Instead of placing this capital A sub 2, 1 element in here, we're placing it right here. A sub 2, 1. So the thing about the educate matrix is that the first number in the index of the elements stands for the number of the column. And the second number stands for the number of the row. I'm sorry, I've made a mistake. Here we have A sub 1, 1. A sub J2 and A sub NM. <clears throat> now let's do that again. Say you want to calculate the element number 1, 2. And again, according to this formula right here, you'd go negative 1 taken to the power of 1 plus 2 multiplied by the minor sub 1, 2 
which is the determinant of the matrix obtained from the initial one, one by removing the first row and the second column. So it is the minor to this element. And again, instead of placing it right here, we're placing it right here. A sub 1, 2. And again, we can see that the first number in the index stands for the number of the column and the second stands for the number of the row. So I'm filling my educate matrix up. Here I have A sub 3, 1. A sub n1, and then I have A sub 3, 2, A sub n2, and then finally I have A sub 1, n, and A sub n, n. Now you might ask, why do we need these four? The answer is pretty simple, pretty obvious, to find the inverse matrix. So finally, the inverse matrix is found by the following formula. Inverse A equals 1 divided by the determinant of the initial matrix multiplied by the educate matrix. And we should keep in mind that the determinant of the initial matrix mustn't be equal to zero. And this is how we're gonna find inverse matrices. You can watch the examples on finding inverse matrices in this playlist with the word example and the index number in the title.